How often do you reflect on you five years ago to now? Or do you just not think about it? You just, do you just keep going? Oh, man. I mean, where, what, where were you five years ago in life? Uh, five years ago, five years ago, I was in front of a, a stove line cooking. I don't know. I mean, it's funny. Like, I just feel like I don't, I don't, I should probably reflect more. Yeah. You know, I feel like most people, probably most people don't reflect enough. Yeah. I don't know if you do. I mean. I do it too much. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Maybe I, maybe I could learn something from you because I feel like, no, I mean, really, I, 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 maybe not, maybe not. Yeah. Nah, you don't want to do it too much. (laughs) Yeah. So you don't, you don't think about it often. It's just, I'm so focused on constantly like what's the next thing and going forward that I sometimes forget to look back. But that being said though, I do spend a lot of time with my friends that, you know, work in restaurants. It's not like I abandon all the people that I work mm-hmm. with. You know, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of the people that I worked with. And uh, actually one of the guys that line cook next to me uh, works for me now, which is really cool. And That's so cool. it's a cool working relationship. But, you know, I, I reflect on it from time to time. And uh, I definitely, you know, I'm grateful. Yeah. You were, where were you line cooking five years ago? I think I was at Uchiko in Austin. Mm-hmm. I took you there. Yes, you, you had did. a great meal. That was fun. Well, we all had a great meal. It was awesome. I love Uchigo. I shout them out all probably too much, to be honest, at this yeah. point. Um, but uh, they're amazing. And uh, it's like one of the best restaurant groups I've ever worked with. It's funny because like a lot of people say, oh, you must feel, you know, um, so great now that, you know, you don't have to do that every day. And and don't get me wrong. I would much rather be where I am now. But at the same token, like I look back really fondly working there. Yeah. I mean, great people. People have no idea the type of personalities, the passion that people have working in these restaurants, despite, you know, getting your ass kicked 24 seven, you're getting your ass kicked with like your homies, like your yeah. friends. And you're all kind of going through the shit together. Oh, and like so, the bear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude. Just like the bear, just bro. Just like the bear. Yeah. 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 And then when the tickets come out, you just start screaming. Yeah. There's no way, no reason in any service you should ever feel comfortable you should just constantly be angry yeah 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 i got five orders of pork belly fuck 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 instead of putting them on the grill you should lose your shit yeah are you making any kind of media at that point i started making it after like once i was entering like my third year working there Mm. which was five years ago i'm really bad with time something something around that. roughly 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 then yeah and i started making content there not in the restaurant, but yeah, while yeah, I was yeah. working there. So basically every waking hour I wasn't at the restaurant, I was making content. And you know how that goes. Like yeah. you're doing everything yourself. Yeah. You're like you you basically just do whatever feels good to you. You don't know yeah. what the fuck you're doing. You're just doing shit. Yeah. And so that's, yeah, that's what I was doing. Do you, I'm sure you remember like the first one that like kind of popped for you? Yeah. Uh, there were a few, but yeah. I think the one that like really struck me was probably like, my butt better series, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Uh, You want to know what sparked that was (laughs) look probably not distant enough from it, but the simple reality is the second I saw in an article that somebody was stabbed over the Popeye's chicken sandwich. sandwich, I was like, this sandwich is not fucking worth it. There's no goddamn way. Yeah. This is worth that. And so I went, tried it and I was like, this is fucked. I could make this, anyone could make this at home 10 times better. I see. And so that kicked it off. I I did it basically out of anger, made that video. And then it popped off and I was like, this could be a series. <laughs> you did it out of spite. I did it out, literally out of spite. That's good. Yeah. we have, Actually, it's funny enough. We're up. We're uploading a, a video today on short form that is me making chicken sandwich at the very end. I say, fuck you, Popeyes. Oh, wow. So, th- so this is it. Throwback. Four years ago. And this is you in your apartment. Yeah. Filmed it by myself, edited by me. And you, I remember you showing me photos of like your setup back then. You know, it's just like kind of a, just humble tripod. And uh, yeah, you had like some like Chinese softbox. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Just $14 softbox and you were just going at it. So bad. No, but you kind of had the, yeah, you could see the softbox and all the reflection. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I like left all the shit in the backdrop. Yeah, dude. I could have put it somewhere else. Look how long is it? Oh, you paused it. Okay. I thought it was still playing. I was like, how long did I stay on this fucking frame? <laughs> Your editing style is, you know, is, is very re- reasonable to expect. Damn, this is so good. You can see the softbox on the top of the buns. <laughs> it was clipping so hard. Look at you. Look at. <laughs> I, I, 
I thought that shot was so good. And then a black screen. Nothing yeah. better than that. Yeah. Didn't have any footage for that, folks. Yeah. Who do, you know, I love the I love the dramatic cut to black screen. Basically, it says, I didn't have footage for this. Yeah, this is act one <laughs> of chicken. All right, this is you just... I'm talking about leaving the fat on because it makes juicier chicken. People cut the fat off a lot of the time. Yeah. But when you bite into a, a piece of chicken that's got a little bit of the fat on there, dude. Yeah. Kind of crazy. I kind of want to bring that up in a second. We're going to keep laughing at this for a moment, though. Oh, just I want to force you to reflect. Yeah. You when, like that I'm using restaurant equipment in this, too. I stole that, by the way. Did you actually? Yeah, I stole that. From Uchiko? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it from somewhere. Hey, you know. All right, so hold up. It's a donation, man. Listen, Line Cook's paid like $11 an hour, right? <laughs> did you steal it just to cook at home, or did you steal it knowing it would look good for the content? Both. Uh, well, some of the stuff in there was stolen years ago. Got it. Yeah. Did you finish doing coke just a second ago? You're sniffling a lot. Yeah, no, no. I have COVID. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember how many views this did in like the first day? I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. Uh, what I do Was remember, it instant? Did you just post it and it just blew up or did it take time? I remember it performing surprisingly well and I was like, oh, this is doing pretty good. And then like outlets started posting about it, like oh. media outlets. I, I can't remember which was the first one that did it. But it was like the day of. It they're was all posted, bankrupt right? now. So Yeah, they're yeah. probably not even around anymore. So whatever, <laughs> fucking Sports Illustrated. Bloomberg, whatever the fuck it yeah. is. Yeah, They're yeah. all the same anyway. They're all owned by one person. So yeah. They just, you know, whenever they, whenever they had enough, that, that one like billionaire just kind of goes, ah, yeah. all your jobs don't matter. Sorry, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> right. you're getting coverage and you're popping now. Yeah. And, yeah, and then you just went back into work and you're like, I got a cool YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, when this when this was live at that mm. time, yeah, that was. A, I mean, a bunch of people were telling me that they had seen it, and I was like, "Oh, it's doing pretty well." And then I just went back to work. Yeah. And I worked for a while after this. I could have left the restaurant for probably four or five months, mm -hmm. but I had a hard time leaving because I was so like emotionally attached to it. Interesting. Yeah. Um, just being around the people and cooking and that environment. Yeah, it's like you know you're leaving. <sighs> You kind of are taught this like weird, intense level of like humble behavior. Yeah. Like you should be humble. You should be only focused on like the most granular of minutia. Like how you cut a fucking onion is everything you are, nothing mm -hmm. else. And so leaving kind of felt like, am I giving up on this? Am I, am I, am I giving up? Yeah. And so for me, I was like, the only way I'm leaving is if I get back in restaurants later. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, it took a while. I like, when I, I tried to quit three times, I would go up to my boss, uh, uh, shout out to Lance, Chef Lance. He, he's still there. Um, he's like a corporate chef now. He's killing it. But anyway, so I go up to him and I'm like, hey, I want to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. And he is already like, uh-oh. And I sit him down and I'm like getting nervous. I'm like, fuck, I can't do it. And so I just go, yeah, so I want to work on this special. And he's like, okay, fucking go work on it and then fuck out of here. And so <laughs> tried that two <clears throat> times and then finally I did it. I fucking cried when I did it. Really? Yeah. Have you ever talked about that? No. Oh. No, yeah. So you so was it emotional for him as well? No. No. He didn't care. <laughs> no. no. He did not care. I think he was like shocked to see it mm -hmm. because I was like starting to get it up and up in, in there and I, I could have like maybe picked a path. I talked to the uh president of culinary there I was like kind of, could have been my path to be doing like chef de cuisine like CDC work and working towards a corporate chef role at some point and I could have fought for that, but um I knew that if I went deeper, it would be even harder to leave. Yeah. So saying goodbye was also saying goodbye to you know all my friends, yeah, basically, in a way, because they're all too busy. You're fucking working six days a week, seven days a week. I'm not yeah. gonna see them. Yeah. You know, I barely barely see them uh, these days when they're bear, off. Barely, like the bear, like the bear. <laughs> That's right, dude. 